Okay, shalom, shalom. Kwam ya sa'ala. Koholoyim la Yahweh ba shim Yahweh shai ba Hashem rakah hakodash. Double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone who rule well and led by the Spirit taught us this beautiful truth. Just want to say the water to our Akim and Akwaf that's out here sincerely keeping the laws and statutes and commandments of Yahweh ba shim Yahweh shai to the best of their ability. This is Yah Hanan Awaf. Just coming at you with another quick lesson. Praying that it's edifying by the Spirit. And seeing this article says boy 12 years old smothered to um delete yeah. smothered to deletion on first day at north carolina wilderness camp for troubled teens right so when i seen that you know the first scripture that i thought of was you know eh, you know the troubled teens in america is man these these kids are pretty troubled well before teens and since things are moving so fast and since they have the touch of information right at the click of their, their fingers and hands, it's like they, they learn quicker and, 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 you know, move a lot more, uh, you know, I would say in an adult mode quicker these days because time is moving faster. Of course, there's a lot of more information that, that that's at hand. Um, there's a lot of wickedness that's going on. They, you know, it's a lot of music a lot of movies a lot of um video game distractions of course the food you know that they receive um a lot of you know um it's just everything that's around the children these days is is really affecting them it's not what it used to be man you know what i'm saying and then of course esau he makes it where you know you can't discipline these children so they just kind of lash out and they do what they want to do but there come consequences with that and um I'll get it in a second here. Well, matter of fact, let's just let's jump to it now. And generally, you know, when you become 12 years old, as far as scriptural, you're generally becoming a, a, a young man. Really? But in, you know, in Esau's kingdom, of course, you know, it's um, this guy, he treats you like you're a damn baby until you're 21. And even after that. Okay, but this is um, also like you. Exodus chapter 20, verse 12. I think that's verse 12. It says, Honor thy father and thy mother, that thy days may be long upon the land which the Lord thy God giveth thee. See? And this is the uh, first commandment with promise right here. Let me see where that cross reference is at. So, like you, bear with me real quick here. Should be a cross reference. Going into the New Testament on that. Yeah, man, that, um, you know, in the ancient days, I think this is Matthew, yeah, 15 and 4. For Yahweh commanded, saying, Honor thy father and mother. And he that curses father or mother, let him die the death. See? But, but ye say, Whosoever shall say to his father or his mother. Okay, so that's going on, but this is the point right here. Um, should be another precept, too. Or Luke 18 and 20, thou knowest the commandments. Do not commit adultery. Do not kill. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Honor thy father and thy mother. Right? And this is the one that I wanted. Um, Ephesians 6 and 1. Children, obey your parents and the Lord, for this is right. Honor thy father and thy mother, which is the first commandment with promise, that it may be well with thee, and thou mayest live long on the earth. See? So that, that's the, um, it's the first commandment with promise. That, you know, if you do honor your mother and your father, then, you know, you, you know, you have long life. But, you know, and, and again, you know, a lot of these children, they're cussing their mom out, they're cussing their daddy out, they're talking all kinds of stuff. They're not obeying. They, you know, they just, you know, their grades are bad in school. They're cussing out the teachers. They're cussing out the principals. You know, they, they constantly in something. They're constantly fighting, constantly scrapping. And then, you know, you get sent here. And, 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 you know, die to death, basically. But it says the, uh, um, let me just get to the point. I don't want to keep this long. Okay, it says he was found inside a bivy, a solo tent equipped with an alarm system. An autopsy report that came out on Monday has not been responded to by the trails carolina which attributed to the death to asphyxia due to smothering essentially a lack of oxygen in this case due to covering the nose and mouth 
with a non-breathable material. It was noted by the camp that it was standard practice to put kids in bivvies overnight as a safety measure on arrival. However, the, uh, the autopsy report highlighted that the inner mesh and panel of the boy's bivy was ripped, leading counselors to seal the outer weatherproof door panel instead, deviating from the camp's usual procedures. So even though, hey, <laughs> your little Jake was there, or, or I'm not even sure it's just a Jake, but he was there because of, you know, his behavior, parents, you know, more likely going to get paid. They're going to sue, get paid, probably put that business out of business if it was a private business. It says, according to the autopsy, autopsy findings, bivvies are known to carry warning warnings against completely sealing the weather-resistant outer layer as it may lead to condensation and breathing restrictions. The authorities have only referred to the boy by his initials, CJH. No charges have been announced yet. The Trans Transvania County Sheriff's Office, which has been conducting a criminal investigation into the boy's death, said it is reviewing the autopsy report and will discuss it to the local district attorney. The, the asphyxia finding was a diagnosis of exclusion, meaning all other responsible causes of death were ruled out. The boy was placed into the compromised sleeping position by others and did not have the ability to reasonably remove himself. Meanwhile, the counselors overseeing him could not check on him due to the boy's OPEC outer panel, preventing them from potentially noticing a problem and helping them before it was too late. With this combination of factors, the death, the death is best certified as homicide. Before his license was revoked, trail counselors in Lake Toxaway catered to youngsters with behavioral issues and conditions. You know, of course, they got um, attention um, deficit, um, hyperactivity disorder, autism. You know, that's Esau and a lot of his stuff, man. A lot of the times, you know, they just be, you know, children that are just, you know, just not getting the proper um, training or you know, and Esau, you know, he done made it against the law for you to whoop the kid's ass, man. And that's really what a lot of these kids we need. Just a good, nice ass whooping. Put to bed, you know. But anyway, we can end out there. I, I did want to get, um, this is what, you know, scriptures talks about as far as the children. And Esau is not allowing, you know, he, he claims, you know, this is a Christian nation. You know, Christian this, Christian that, Jesus this, Jesus that. And they don't keep nothing that's in the Bible, man. Proverbs 22 and 6, it says, train up a child in the way he should go. And when he is old, he will not depart from it. So you have to train your children from young, young. Young, young. You know, no, you don't do that. No, you don't do this. You do this. You don't, you do that. You know, you have to train them. You, you know, but a lot of these parents, they sit the kids in a damn stroller with a damn iPad. And they know how to work a computer. They know how to work a damn game. You take that from them, though, they'll bug out on you. Because they're addicted to stuff like that. So, you know, it's, it's, it's crazy, man. Let me see if any of these Spirit of Rods is in here. I probably should have just put it in. Let me just put it in. Because you're, you know, you're not supposed to spare the rod of the child, man. You're supposed to uh get down on these children. For real. You ain't going to kill them, you know. But that's what's wrong with this place, man. Let me see. Went too far. Should be in Proverbs. Yeah, uh, Proverbs 13 and 24. He that spareth his rod hateth his son. But he that loveth him chasteneth him be time. So you, you got these parents, they smother them. You know what I'm saying? They helicopter, call them helicopter parents. They be having playdates and shit. You know? All with that, you know, um, um, you know, that constantly cuddling them and treating them nice and rewarding them for doing bullshit you know that, that that that's a person that hates their child and they don't even know it see they think that they're cuddling them up and doing that and that they love their children but that's not the case the scriptures clearly says that you you know you hate your child really in, 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 in you know in reality uh proverbs 22 and 15 foolishness is bound in the heart of a child Kids gonna they 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 not they not there, man. That's why they have to be taught. But the rod of correction shall drive it far from him. He didn't need to go to that place. Now he's out of here. All he needed was, you know what I'm saying? 
a nice little, you know, he he, he needed that 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 rod on him, man, that belt <laughs> or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Proverbs 23 and 13, it says, um, withhold not correction from the child. For if thou beatest him with the rod, he shall not die. He ain't, ain't going to die from getting a whooping. See? Um, verse 14, thou shalt beat him with the with the rod and shalt deliver his soul from hell. See, he could have been delivered had he just got a few ass whoopings. But they sent him off the camp. And that's what a lot of these parents do, man. They're really lazy. They don't want to deal with the children even in the summertime when they get out of school. They'll send their asses off and they ain't even done nothing wrong. They just send them off to camp, you know, so they can keep on going about their, their life, man. They don't want to get into stuff like that. Proverbs 26 and 3. Well, I'll read this one. It says, a whip for the horse, a bridle for the ass, and a rod for the, the fool's back. No. You need that rod, man. You know, we hey, you need that chastening. We all need that chastening. I know when I was growing up, man, I was getting them. <laughs> um, 29, Proverbs 29 and 15. I end out here, Yahweh Roth is the rod and reproof give wisdom. But a child left to himself bringeth his mother to shame. And you leave them kids to themselves, man, and they just, you know, got them little iPads. They on them damn video games, Xbox, playing those the horror games. They playing um, Call of Duty. You know, they, you know, they have, um, you know, of course they got um, a attention span disorder. You know what I'm saying? They, they, they not doing nothing. They're not. They come straight home from school. They get on a game. They back and forth to school. They on the phone. You know, they're not getting the proper air. They're not getting the proper exercise. They're not going out to play like they used to. Those things makes a difference, man. You need to get out exercise run get that air in you you know what i'm saying you know uh be a part of nature so to speak all those things um help and come into play when it comes to children man but these children are caught up in the house all day they on the couch they obese as hell you got little uh, 12 year olds man I, i'll be seeing all the kids you know kids man be 200 pounds or so man at that age like man how you you know like damn how you get that damn big gut hanging all out you know I see them all the time, man. Like, you know, so it's like they just, they're not being fed properly. They're not getting the proper fruits, vegetables. Of course, none of the food in America got no damn um, nutrients in it anyway. This man uh, cut down on everything that's got to do with living. So, you know, I just seen this and, um, you know, that, that scripture came to mind that um, one of the Ten Commandments, you know what I'm saying? And that's one of the Ten Commandments with um, promise there. And hey, you you are a willing participant in your child pretty much, um, you know, getting the business, man. If you don't discipline them, it just is what it is. Because other than that, let's just say, you know, they, they, they actually do grow up. They're either going to go to jail or hit a juvenile center, go to jail, you know, possibly going to be on some damn drugs or dope or, you know, Go off into some unwanted pregnancies, and they raising a, uh, another set of um, um, monsters, you know. So this man's kingdom has got to go, man. This place has got to go. Anyway, we we need better. Earth needs new management. Earth needs new management, man. And, and you know, scriptures goes back into you know where it talks about a stubborn. Matter of fact, let me see. I I can get that one too. A stubborn child. He's supposed to bring him before the um the elders. Says he's stubborn and a damn drunkard. Let me see. Deuteronomy 21 and 18. If a man have a stubborn and rebellious son, which will not obey the voice of his father or the voice of his mother, and that when when they have chastened in him, will not hearken unto them. So even after you chasten him, you know, you, you, you get him with the rod. You, you whoop his ass, right? Let me see. Then shall his father and his mother lay hold on him and bring him out unto the elders of his city and unto the gate of his palace. And they shall say unto the elders of, the, of his city, this our son is stubborn and rebellious. He will not obey our voice. He is a glutton and a drunkard. And all the men of his city shall stone him with stones that he die. So shalt thou put away evil from among you and all Israel shall hear and fear. See, people will look at something like that and be like, what kind of God is that? 
<laughs> you know, but that, but I, I bet you your city and your community is going to flow a lot better. You're not going to have somebody stealing, robbing your ass, sticking you up. Those people are going to be put off the earth and people are going to see it and it's going to be known throughout the community. And they're going to be like, uh, uh, I don't want no parts of that. Here you go. You got a strong ass six foot, whatever, you know, size men were at that time. Strong as hell. Throwing down, um, um, uh, 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 uh stones at you, man. Some with jagged edges, some just straight round and they throw them with full force. Deleting a, a, a what they would call a child today, which is actually a young man. Just think about that site. The people in town, they're going to talk about that. They, that's going to be talked about. Bones and shit getting broken up, getting hit all in the eyes and nose and mouth and just, you know what I'm saying? That's got to be a a, 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 a a real fierce way to go out, man. And again, like I said, that's going to be the talk of the town. You best believe that's going to um, purge some evil away because the rest of the kids going to be like, uh, 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 all the parents got to do. You remember little Johnny? And them kids going to get their asses in line. So this is, you know, the, the, this, the, these scriptures are important, man. This, this truth is important. These these laws, statutes and commandments, you know, we we keep them to the best of our ability. We're not going to be able to keep them perfectly. And that's another thing, too, because you've got these um, these camps that's talking about, you know, they keep the laws to 100 uh, percent. Uh, you can't keep the laws 100 percent because guess what? You're not going to be able to do this law right here. This is a law that you did. That, that's proven point right there that you 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 y'all wrong, man, for teaching that. Um, you Zakari guys. You're wrong for teaching that because you can't keep this right here. America is not about to allow you to keep this this law right here, even though they say they're a Christian nation. So I'm going to end out there. I didn't want to, you know, take it too much further into it. But hey, this this pretty much like I said, when I seen this and, and, and all the time when I see stories about um children or what they would call children, because, again, this would be a young man and, and stuff like this happens to him. First thing comes to mind is, you know, that 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 one of them Ten Commandments, man. Honoring your mother and your father. First um, um commandment with promise that you, that your days will um uh, be fulfilled, so to speak, where you, you know, you'll live long. Always comes to mind when I see a story like this. That was the first thing that hit me. So, but anyway, I just wanted to touch on that. Do a quick little something, something real fast. You know what I'm saying? So with that, Kwame Inshallah.